Hi, it's Guy from Harding Performance. Today I've got my Magic Motorsport hat on, or it's on the table at least. Today we're going to show you mechatronics cloning with the Magic Motorsport Flex tool. This is a Volkswagen DSG gearbox uh, mechatronics. These units are what we call SVM coded. This is a very late model unit. SVM coding normally means that you need to take it to Volkswagen to have them hook online to the factory to allow you to clone the immobiliser data and put the new unit in the car. We're going to show you how you can use this in your workshop. Uh, fantastic tool and easy to use. So we'll start to run the demonstration. This is the flex application. What we will do is we will look for a Tiguan DQ500. And we know this is a late model version. Here, you can see that we are going to do this one via bench. Now, it will show us the connections that we require. Because to do this operation we need to connect directly to the plug, the programming plug. You will see how that is connected via the flex box. This can also be done with a pre-made cable which is also available from us. Okay. Now we're going to connect to the mechatronics. Okay, in this particular case we're going to read the maps. And we will save the maps. Then we are going to read the internal EEPROM. This is where all your immobiliser and vehicle data is saved. We will save that. Okay, it's pretty simple. Then we're going to disconnect from this unit. Now we've got the full backup out of the old mechatronics. It's time to get the new mechatronics out and connect it. So this one is straight from Volkswagen. So what we need to do is disconnect the old mechatronics and reconnect the new mechatronics. Okay, now we're wired up to the brand new mechatronics from Volkswagen. And we shall connect the new TCU. And we shall write the maps. Ask us to get the file we pulled out of the other mechatronics. And then we send the file. And then we shall write the internal EEPROM with all the vehicle data. And that's writing the internal EEPROM. Okay, that's completed a full cloning of a DQ500 mechatronics.